how are ya? Well, welcome back for another weekend vlog and I'm tuning in live from icy cold Texas. I actually ended my last vlog last night. So if you didn't see the last vlog, you should go to the end and look at how my little yard looks because it's crazy. It's, it's covered in ice and snow. But the good news is Max did go potty in our little yard this morning. So I don't have to go put on like full cold winter clothes yet. So I'm very appreciative of that. I do have to catch up on a big handful of computer work though before getting started. So I'm gonna do that and get ready for the day and we're gonna have a good weekend. I'm gonna start trying to bring TikTok transitions to YouTube. Remember this one where you magically get ready? Let's do it. <laughs> If only getting ready was that easy, right? I will say I do have my makeup down to like the five to 10 minute range depending on how quick I'm trying to go. I'm gonna bundle up in the warmest clothes I have, take Max on a walk and be back to officially get our day started. Oh my gosh, it is so cold. Ugh, my face is cold. Oh, I might have to wear a beanie today. Also, how do we feel about the turtleneck? under a sweater, under a jacket. But then my jeans have a huge rip in them. Wait, no, not that side. So clearly don't know how to do the cold, but I do have something exciting to tell you. I have talked about Olipop so many times. I've worked with them for a while. I am working with them again on today's vlog. In my opinion, they're basically like a healthier alternative to soda. So many great flavors. My favorite's Orange Squeeze. I used to have a pretty good promo code with Olipop. It was 15% off the variety pack. A lot of you guys requested that the promo code could be used for anything on the site and they have listened. So now my code Mikkel will get you 15% off anything on the site. And also the variety pack, which is what I always recommend to everybody to try has reduced price used to be $41.99 now it's $35.99 um, and that comes with 12 of all the different flavors that they have like I said there's a ton of flavors um, so there's actual like soda e replacements like vintage cola and classic root beer my three favorites personally are orange squeeze, strawberry vanilla, ginger lemon, especially if I'm feeling nauseous. I love ginger lemon. I always recommend to people, like I said, that they get the variety pack because it blows my mind. Every single friend that I have turned on to Olipop has a different favorite flavor. There's not like a consensus of what everybody's favorite flavor is. Um, some people's favorite will be other people's least favorite and vice versa. So I always recommend trying the variety pack to try all of them to know which one you like the most. But these are so cool. They have a lot of fiber. Y'all know I'm a big fiber fan. They also have prebiotics and botanicals in them. Um, there's Jerusalem artichoke. There's Nopal cactus. There's calendula flower and kudzu root and marshmallow root and slippery elm bark and just like really good things for your digestive health. Way less sugar than a traditional soda alternative and actually good for you. So it's actually been a couple weeks since I've had this one. The thing I really like about the vintage cola is it actually has some green tea caffeine. So, you know, sometimes you want a soda because you want like a little bit of caffeine. This has all of that. What more could you ask for? So I love Olipop. I like to have them in my fridge um, and bring them along. They just, they make my stomach feel better on days that my stomach is a little iffy. Yet again, code Mikkel, 15% off the whole site and variety pack is now discounted. So. Good news all around. I'm pumped about it. And I'm gonna play with Max. There he goes. Look at those hops. Look at those hops. Sick tricks, dude. <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> You're basically walking on two feet at that point. Well, rough. You play rough. <laughs> oh, I have scheduled my first wag walker to take Max on an evening little walk. And I'm really stressed about it because the building I live in, it's big, it's confusing, and there's multiple door codes they have to get through, both like to get into the building and then to get into my unit. And I'm like, I really hope this works out. I've really procrastinated it. I've lived here for three months now and haven't ever scheduled a wag. Hopeful that works out. My best friend in the whole wide world, Kaylee's is flying into town today. I haven't seen her since I left California, so I haven't seen her since October, actually. 
Um, and her and her husband are flying in just for a long weekend staying. We have actually a lot of mutual friends that live in New Braunfels. So they're staying with Anna in New Braunfels. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna pick them up from the airport, drive them to New Braunfels, and we're all gonna get dinner tonight. I, I get emotional thinking about the fact that I haven't seen her in so long. Um, truly my best friend in contact every single day and I get to see her this weekend, and tomorrow I get to see her too, and Monday. Uh, also, look at these beautiful Renan, these are Renanculus, right? Yeah, I think so, that I picked up from Whole Foods. Aren't they so cute? Love Whole Foods, you can get Renanculus and Olipops. Are you still hyper? Are you still so hyper? What are you, what are you, what are you, what are you doing? <laughs> Oh, we're giving off big chaotic energy today over here. <laughs> so I'm experimenting with a very odd meal here because I need to get groceries. I have a almond flour tortilla heating up some diet cheese, almost kind of quesadilla style. And I just made one of these frozen just eggs. I'm gonna plop that on one side of it, add some fancy sea salt flakes, some truff hot sauce, Oop. Well, the shapes didn't quite work out of these, but let's let's give this an honest review. It's like quesadilla. It's like quesadilla meets spicy breakfast taco. How about it? So here's the plan. Tomorrow, said friends in New Braunfels are having a first birthday party for one of their sons. I need to find a baby gift. I know very little about babies and children, so I'm going to try a place on South Congress called Neighborhood Goods. It's really just like a well-rounded gift shop. And then if I fail, I'm gonna go to Target. But I also have a return to Everlane. I had people vote on my Instagram stories if I should exchange, return, keep these. The way hygiene in this color, love the color, but the fit was weird. If they have it in my size and I could try it on, I might exchange it, but otherwise I'm just gonna return it because it's too risky. So let's go, let's go. Okay, I truly feel like I killed all birds with one stone. So they didn't have a ton of baby clothes I showed you. I ended up getting those like khaki pants with the green uh, plaid shirt because those were the only things in stock in size 12 months. But I decided to ask them because I don't have really any gift wrap for babies. I was like, do y'all sell gift wrap? They're like, yeah, we do, we do. And I was like, cool. And then she started checking me out and she was like, wait, do you are you part of the rewards program i was like no and she was like oh well we can like wrap the gifts for you for free and i was like oh sign me up is it just an email she's like yeah and then she said oh you also get 10 percent off and i was like oh awesome she said oh you also can go over to the coffee shop and pick out a free drink and i was like i committed to the first thing and you just keep giving me things this is awesome i got an oat milk latte which would have been seven dollars for free and then they wrapped this for free too look at how cute and since I got 10% off, Aesop soaps have been sold out forever. And I was like, okay, if I get the discount, are the Aesop soaps back in stock? And she was like, yeah, we just got them back in stock. And then she gave it to me in this canvas tote. And then she gave me the Aesop soap in an Aesop canvas tote. It's just like the gift that kept on giving, you know? So that being said, I did everything I need to do with one stop. Don't even have to go to Target, which is fantastic. I feel like today might be my day, you know? <laughs> I feel like good signs only. Look who's in Texas! We made it! I'm so excited! I'm so excited too. Look who else it's is in good. Texas. <laughs> I don't even know, the, the vlog hasn't seen you since maybe my last birthday. Hi friends. It's really been that long. <laughs> How was uh, uh, the last 
five months of your life. Oh my gosh, it's been good. <laughs> Pretty crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I got some exciting stuff in the works. Exciting but stuff in the works. Yeah, but we are hanging out. Very excited to be here visiting this weekend. I know I haven't seen you in so long. Oh my gosh. It's, it's really, crazy. really cute because I have gotten so many like comments and DMs being like, are you still f best friends with Kaylee's? But every, <laughs> if you don't know, her name is spelled K A L Y C E. <laughs> and I get people that are like, are you still talking to C A L E E Y S E? Please. E. <laughs> Kaylee's. <laughs> That's what like, I love. The variations make me laugh. They're me super too. funny. Well, we don't even know what we're doing for dinner, but we just got to our mutual friend Anna house y'all know Anna yeah. Anna's on the vlogs all the time and Love we're just Anna. gonna figure out somewhere in New Braunfels to eat yes gonna hang out have a good time I know the th like the three of us like I haven't seen Nina that long but the three of us especially haven't when was the last time the three, three of us were together oh my gosh I can't even really when was tell. that wow <sighs> It's just going to be a super fun. Jeremy just we went can, in. I know. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, we'll go catch up. Yay. Okay, we'll take y'all to dinner. my first meat and potato meal that I've had since moving back to Texas and I feel like now it's official now I'm back in Texas it was kind of great to have like a steak and potato and green bean meal Anna and Kaylee's are like two of my dearest friends and to be able to have all three of us girls together is awesome and I'm really excited to go back all the way to New Braunfels tomorrow um, it's worth the driving to get to be with them again and be with some of our extended friends but that being said, I am absolutely exhausted. And my last week of treating myself to all sorts of things is starting to, like I'm starting to feel it on my skin. I have a huge, huge zit, probably the size of a dime forming underneath my chin. You know that feeling where it's like, it, you can feel it. It has a heartbeat. <laughs> oh, one last thing before I go to bed. Max and I started a new game. He loves it. It's called Ring Toss because this donut fits over his nose perfectly and we'll like toss it and he'll try to catch it on his nose like a bottle, like a ring. And we've only been successful like four or five times, but he looks so proud every time he does it. I'll insert a couple little clips for you, iPhone clips, but we're off to bed and we will see you, <gasps> yep, for tomorrow. Good morning, happy Saturday for me and my pimple patch, my zit sticker. I wasn't planning on starting the vlog like this early this morning, but oh, ho, 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 ho. he wants to play ring toss again. <laughs> just a second, bud. I just wanted to share, I was sitting here. I had Camp Pandora playing, drinking my latte, just finished a couple emails and Max came up and he snuggled and this sounds really bad to say out loud and maybe it's not true, but it. I feel like truly the first time where I felt incredibly, <laughs> yeah, where I felt incredibly grateful for just like the little things. Like obviously the last few months really broke me down as a person, but I kind of like the girl that's being built back up way more than the girl that I was months ago because this girl actually, no bud, <laughs> this girl is actually thankful for the little things. Um, not to say I wasn't thankful before, but I wasn't like, I didn't feel it in my heart. I was logistically thankful, but I didn't feel it in my heart. I was always seeing like what I needed to improve. Life isn't good, but life is good, you know? Weird feeling I never experienced, just wanted to share. But you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna shower and get ready, and I'm going to do a very rapid fire everyday makeup tutorial, because this has been weirdly requested. I don't consider myself very good at makeup, but I do basically do the same thing every single day. So I'm gonna see if I can show you my full makeup routine in like three minutes or less. How does that sound? Before I leave for the day. Showered, washed my hair. I really didn't want to, but I figured it was time. So let's see how rapidly I can show you my everyday makeup. I will switch like one thing out a month and then keep it for a while. So very slowly over the course of time, my routine does evolve, but this is what I've been doing lately and I'll try my best to link all these things down below. First, I already have on moisturizer, but I do sunscreen. 
Next, for foundation, I've done this for forever. I mix probably 75% of the Glossier Skin Tint and 25% of the Born This Way foundation to give it somewhere between a skin tint and a foundation. I'm almost out. I literally just mix it in my fingertips and use my fingers. Then I also use Born This Way concealer, mostly just under my eyes and <laughs> on things like this. Oh, it's already forming a head again. Ow, it hurts. And I will use a beauty blender to try to slowly blend this out. And then I've been using the Glossier setting powder lately, but I will pretty much only set right under my eyes, maybe a little bit in my T-zone, but I like my skin as dewy as possible. So I try to go light on the setting powder. The part that takes the longest for me is my brows. I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pencil. I just ordered it in full size also, but I brush my brows up and then I lightly fill them in. Then I will brush through them again to make sure that the pigment is all pretty even before freezing them in place with the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow gel in clear. And I find I actually have to do this twice. So I do it once now and then I come back and I do it again at the end of my makeup because it kind of falls the first time and then it really freezes the second time. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and do lips before moving on to eyes because my lips feel very dry and all I do is the Glossier Balm.com. I don't wear lip color hardly ever, maybe once a year. I just use like a sheer Vaseline-y type balm. Eyes. First I curl the lashes. Then for shadow, I use this palette from Ilia. I basically stick to these top four. But normally I'll just use the kind of nude color. Very roughly, the least precise thing. Over my full lid. And then the lightest shimmer. Over that. <laughs> Makeup gurus everywhere are cringing. I use the Stila, Stila? Accidentally bought the micro tip, did not mean to, but the waterproof eyeliner stays all day. And I do the smallest line. Basically like that on both eyes. For mascara, lately I've been trying to use the rest of this Ilia sample size, but I really recommend this one from Merit. I just reordered it because this one's pretty dried out, but just, you know, simple mascara. Bronzer, it's dirty. <laughs> I've been using this Be Sunkissed by Lila B, which is a smaller beauty brand, kind of similar to both Merit and Ilia, very clean. And I, I'm generous with it. I'll do it everywhere the sun hits. So nose, cheekbones, and then even up here to look bronzy. And then I will end with, look how beat up, this Obluce from Drunk Elephant, which is a blush, but it also kind of doubles as a highlighter. So put some on my fingers like this, and I will literally just tap it into my cheekbones for both the glowy look and the blushy look. And sometimes if I have a big boy like this, I'll do one more layer of concealer and set it pretty well. And that's my everyday makeup. It takes me about 10 minutes or less. Hopefully that was helpful. I'll, I'll link what I can for you. I am filling up with gas before heading out to New Braunfels again. I'm really excited to get to see everyone. It feels normalcy, you know? But I had a car thought quick question addition. Quick question. What is something that unnecessarily stresses you out more than it should? Like causes you more anxiety than it should? Because for me, it's when someone sees you walk into your car and then waits for you to get your parking spot. I get so stressed about because I want to hurry because they're waiting on me and I don't want to inconvenience them. But I'm like, I have to type in my address. I have to pick my playlist or my podcast. I have to like buckle up and adjust everything, you know, and then I get, it's not a big deal, but it stresses me out. And I feel like we all have those little things and I'm just really curious. I want to know what yours are. Okay, gas finished. Put a pen on my desk
as I wait for the muse to come. I just got home to the absolute sweetest surprise ever. This is from Madison. Y'all have seen Madison. She's been in some vlogs lately. It is so sweet. I think she sent it um, since this is still technically my anniversary week, which means a lot. And I've loved having like feminine flowers in my house lately. It made my day. Really, truly made my day. Max yeah. is hyper. Come here, bud. You gonna tell everybody bye? I'm excited to put on comfy clothes, put laundry in, oh. and just play and cuddle with Max for the night. Here he comes. You wanna say goodbye? You wanna say goodbye? Oh, thank you. Oh, your breath is so bad. I wanted to say thanks again to Olipop for partnering with me on this video. I will have my code and my link and all of the information in the description box, along with anything else you might need in the description box as well. But thanks for spending the weekend with me. I love you. I hope you have the best rest of your day. Max is in guard dog position. <laughs> Told you. And I will see you in a video very soon. Bye. <laughs> so give me a sign. Give me a sign, oh, give me a sign, baby, give me a sign, just give me one more, talking to you, talking to here we go again, staying up all night to see if you've been texting me, where do we go from here?